Hello everyone, I'm going live today and speaking to a beautiful woman, Holly, who I met on my 2019 retreat in Bali. She's going to come on and share a little bit about her journey of healing and accessing her gifts and her empowerment. There she is, so I'm going to let Holly in now. I'm so excited to have, I love doing the lives where there's a back and forth engagement. So I'm really excited for you too, everyone who's tuning in, watching, re-watching. Here she Hi. is. Hi. <laughs> oh my Hi. gosh. It's so nice to see your face. So everyone else is also witnessing this um, reconnection because the last time I fully connected with you was I think just after the retreat ended before I said goodbye to you and you left Bali. Mm, yeah, it's been a, been a journey since for sure. Oh, so please yeah. introduce yourself. Tell everybody uh, where you are right now and yeah, why you, it's, it's interesting because um, you're the one who instigated this moment to happen and you created this, which is, I, I'm so grateful mm. for it. So thank you. But yeah, just share a little bit about why you're here. Yeah. Well, first of all, I just want to acknowledge uh, you and all that you've done and helped me through in my journey. So that's really why, because I know you've got an upcoming retreat um, in August. Yeah. Coming, so I just actually wanted to get on and just share a little bit of um, what the retreat did for me in my personal journey, and maybe reach out to some women that are like feeling on the fence about it and not sure about it, and just give them a little bit of insight of uh, how it impacted my life and my journey. So, yeah, thank you for for doing this. For you know, that's such a such an important thing to be doing, and yeah. So, yeah, my name is Holly, and I joined Shay Magically uh, in is it October 2019. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> times I swear. Um, and yeah, it was really like for me, it was it was almost like the universe kind of aligned things for me to be there because I had just left Bali from doing my, my teacher training um, and flown to Australia and was applying for a working visa in Australia and had got in touch with Shay and we were chatting and I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. And I was on the fence and um, I literally, I think I got a call like the next few days from um, from immigration saying, you know, you can't be in, in Australia while we're granting your visa. And I was like, okay, well, it looks like I'm going to Bali then. And um, I phoned Shay and I was so excited and yeah, it was, I, I remember getting there and going to my room and just crying and just being like so full of joy and being like, okay, the universe has actually aligned things so perfectly for me to, to experience this, which essentially is what, what a retreat is there for. It's there for an experience for you to, to reconnect to you to the deeper parts of yourself and, and to nature and to to like-minded women in this case. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like when I arrived there, I, was, I, I had a lot going on and very timid. And, but I felt this, like, sense of uh, this rekindling of this fire being ignited within me and, and this... A reconnection to my feminine essence, which is what Shay's magic really is. It's really connecting you back to your feminine essence. Um, and, you know, the, the, the place in itself is just magical. It's just it really one is. of the most, breath yeah, it's one of the most breathtaking places I feel that I actually went to in Bali because I spent a lot of time in a boat. So, going there was like a treat, you know, um, and just the Balinese women that make the food and it's all, you know, it's all grown there and they're just full of love and yeah. uh, it's just the rooms are magical, the water is magical um, 
And yeah, it was. It, I know for you, you've got such a special place in your heart for for Bali Eco Stay, in addition to your healing journey and what it's done, the land's done for you. Yeah. So for you to now bring bring woman back to the place that's done so much for you, it's even more special. You know, it's not just like some. It's not just like some venue that you're taking people. This is somewhere where you really, really dive deep and came back to yourself. Yeah. Um, and you feel it. Yeah, you're right. It, it's, and it, it's something that I think runs true in everything that I offer in the work that I do because mm -hmm. for me, I can't take anyone anywhere that hasn't affected me deeply already and that I haven't like like personally deeply experienced so I can't you know claim to be a master of certain areas that and I don't even claim to be a master of any area but like I, I very much work in a way where like if something has impacted my healing journey so deeply I, I feel like it's almost like a responsibility for me to share that with others and to like allow them to have an experience to connect to these different places and so physically Bali Eco Stay, like everyone literally after this, go and look at Bali Eco Stay, their Instagram. Mm. And like what you see, yeah. it's not even, it's like breathtaking, but it still doesn't compare to the, the, the magic of that earth, the land and how it's respected by the owners yeah. of this eco resort and the people who work there. And it's, it's where I first lived when I came to Bali. I had the the beauty of being able to actually live there and um, and work with the owners and and <clears throat> it is where I found <clears throat> I had like a tickle in my throat where I'm like now my voice is all funny <laughs> but I'm gonna take keep talking. <laughs> it's where I found my power. It's where I became a um, yoga teacher. It's where I started teaching meditation and to offer this to other women now is like. It's so gratifying and I'm so grateful that you got to experience this at a time when you felt like it was like aligned and perfect for you. So I want to ask you, like, what did you, what did you leave with that you didn't go with? Like, what did you leave with that was, that was very different to how you arrived to the, to the retreat? Yeah. Um, oh, so much, so much. It, for me, I, I feel like I had always um, been afraid to be in my feminine essence. Mm -hmm. So I'd say the, the biggest part for me was the safety in my body, which is, has been a continual, you know, it's been a continual, continual unfolding for me. But really, the tools that I was given through the retreat was the, the safety to be in my body and the safety to be in my my sensual feminine essence, which is really, um, you know, it's, that's really your magic of sharing that with people. And, and um, you know, I, I'd, I'd come from South Africa, so I'd spent a lot of time not wanting to be in that essence because it didn't feel safe for me to be in in that. Right. Um, so that was the biggest, really the biggest take for me. But then, you know, there was also the, the deep sisterhoods that were, that were um, gained through meeting these women uh, on this journey. And, and really, we all still speak on a regular basis. And it's just it's like this, it's such a special experience for anyone that's been to a retreat. It's, so it's a really special bond that you develop because all the walls are down and you just get to see really the, the, the essence of everyone in their rawest vulnerabilities. Um, and there's such a, yeah, and there's such a common thread when you meet in spaces like that, um, particularly for women's retreats where when you start to share, you actually see that you're not so alone in these things that you think you're alone in a lot of the time. Um, but so much and yeah, just, you know, the uh, Shay goes through, you know, different archetypes of the feminine essence. So it's not just the sensual, it's not just the innocence, it's the power, it's, you know, so going through all of that and being like, it's actually okay to feel these things. It's okay to feel anger, it's okay to feel 
but it's also okay to be in my light and it's also okay to be in my innocence and in my sensuality. Um, so <laughs> there's just so much that I took from it. And I, the, the reason why I wanted to initiate this is because I know you were supposed to do um, one during um, 2020. Yeah, 20, yeah, 2020. Yeah. So that was like after that retreat, I was like, it's all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to do retreats. I had them all booked in and then COVID happened. Yeah, so I really just wanted to share for any woman, because I know it's probably people are feeling a bit apprehensive to travel and things like that at the moment. Any woman that are feeling the call to, to do this, to really follow that. Like, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't be more grateful that I actually followed um, the call to, to do it beyond mm -hmm. the fear and beyond the doubts and, and everything, because it really... It, it was it uh, was a catalyst for the next part of my journey, um, and it was a catalyst to reconnect me to my feminine essence, to my expression. Uh, I had such trouble speaking, um, and that really helped me come back into my voice and my expression. And yeah, it's just, it's such a magical experience. And just, yeah, like uh, the land itself is like, <laughs> it's just incredible. And, you know, you get to go down to the waterfall and uh, on beautiful nature walks. And yeah, highly, highly recommend. You're, you're like the, the perfect embodiment of all that you're saying, you know, like, you are speaking from such a beautiful like open vulnerable space so clear so confident you're glowing like you are all of the things and i think that was something as well and that's something with all of my work in this retreat it's like it's it's an experience of and, and you got this like you got it like instantly and sometimes it takes people like a, like a little bit in the space to like open it but like you were just so ripe from the first call. I think we had talking about the retreat, um, or like the, and then the communications. Like when you made the decision, it was just like you followed what felt right. That little like whisper, rather than the fears and the judgments and the. But what about this happens? And what is this silly? And is that bad? Am I making a horrible mistake? And like all of the things that will come into our minds when we're making any significant decision. But you had this like, knowing of yourself and this trust in yourself to follow that. And then you were just like, like radiant the first day, <laughs> like really. And the whole experience is just showing you that like you're all, you're all of the things already. And let's play in these energies and show you that it's okay to be all of the things that you actually are already. So, yeah. you know, there's so many different mod modalities of healing. And I think they're all about like a reclamation, like returning to the core of who we are and stripping away the barriers and the limitations and the stories and the, the idea that we're, you know, not, not healed or we're not, we're not good enough already. Or like, it's just, I think, yeah, you're just such the perfect embodiment of that because I just see you more and more and more and more and more just keep shining and, and I think for me, I resonate to that, that energy of shining more and claiming yourself more because so much of it, and you can speak to this as well and like confirm this or, you know, if that feels true for you, is about just like full acceptance of where you're at yeah. and who you are and like all of the imperfections and that maybe you're not where you'd ideally love to be in your evolution, but like trust that that's where you're headed. Mm -hmm. But I feel that from you. You feel so grounded and you feel so peaceful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, the, this journey, it, 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 it's, it gets messy sometimes. And it, it's exactly that. Like, I, in all transparency, I'm, I've just ha landed in sunny UK. <laughs> um, you know, and I've been living in a rainforest for uh, three years. So... It, the the adjustment for me is massive like it, and I'm having really messy days at the moment but full acceptance and I'm feeling this and it's okay because that's it it's not it's in, it's impermanent and t today today I woke up and I'm like wow what was yesterday <laughs> I was just but full acceptance that 
I'm exactly where I need to be in every moment. Yeah. Even if it's not where I ideally want to be. Um, and I'm so grateful for for the experiences that I had from following that whisper and from following that inner knowing and essentially just following my inner compass to to where uh, the universe was guiding me and and I believe that you know there's so there's so many people doing retreats and and um, coaching and mentorships and things like that and I believe it was meant to be on your path to to as you say um, give the gift of what you and you've embodied yourself will land up working with you for the right reasons at the right time yeah and and, and that's the magic of this work is like it's it's not for everyone but if you feel the calling it's for you and trust it like fully trust that because um that that's the inner compass that we've all been gifted with mm. is to follow that that really does land us into the right situations places relationships that really like initiate us into yeah. lessons creations like beauty growth all of it and it, it is that trust it's that trust in the whispers and the trust in in the trust in the curiosity trusting that if there's curiosity about this if there's like a pull towards something like there's you're being asked there and even if you don't believe in any of that stuff there's you're asking yourself to go there by having these questions and i think yeah like just again you're like the queen of trust <laughs> i really feel that and i felt that with that with you from from the first moment even when you i think when you finally made the decision to come and you were like no this feels right for me like i'm trusting that this is this is right and like i, I remember you like there was i don't know if there were the words but there was that energy and i was like oh she is like She's so perfect <laughs> for this. It's like, I knew your energy would be such a valuable asset. And every single woman's energy was. They all brought this, like, mm. unique spark and wisdom. And, like, without that, it wouldn't have been that whole complete experience that it was. So the alchemy of everyone as well is just, it was stunning. And Jerry from the retreat is literally commenting right now. I was just about was... <laughs> Right there, I was just about, I was literally just, as you were saying that, I was I was picturing Jerry, and um, so it's you know there's the universe again. So as, as she just jumps on, so cool. Yeah, I mean, well that's the thing. We've all we're we're all students and we're all teachers, and we've all got something to to share with each other. You know, even if it's just the the resonance of knowing that you're not alone in what happened, or you're not alone in the, the the struggles that you've been through and mm. and you know you're 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 living uh you're living um message of that because you've 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 walked that path and you've come out of it and you've been able to share that gift with others and it's such a that that's why this work is so important it's like knowing that like there there actually is a way through things that you never think that you're going to get through. Yes, 100% there is. Yeah. And, and, and being in a state... Sorry. No, no, continue with that, that thought. I was, just, I was just going to say, and being in a safe container where you can share things that you potentially have never been able to share is, is what people need. It's so healing to feel all of you can be accepted one of the biggest wounds we all have is the feeling of not being seen heard and understood right like we're not validated for just our existence and when we're able to share and still be accepted for the sharing and then hear someone else potentially share about something similar it's like whoa like i it, it, it heals that sense of like worthiness and enoughness wound and like just the wound of of taking up space and being a valued part of life and yeah the safety that's created from experiences that are more intimate like retreats or programs of web workshops but i think the long form especially 
where you have multiple days with people you wouldn't normally like people who don't know you but then know you more deeply some of them then like your family members might or other friends that you might have had for a long time like it's wild um yeah i do want to i do want to ask you now um as we're coming more to the end of the chat what are your what are you creating now like what are your visions where where are you i know that you are your gift is is i mean you have so many gifts music is one of them and just your presence is healing but i i see like you in so many beautiful roles that you could play and and ways that you could further help people on their journey but i'm just like super curious like where are you headed if you know which yeah you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow big question <laughs> um in in all honesty right now i'm in, in i'm in liminal space so i am I am deep in the void of the unknown right now. Mm. Um, but I will say that I have uh, I have a vision um, that is in creation. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take to to create, and, and I'm not going to put a time on it. But that is something that I'm I'm working on, and, and uh, it's coming through, and has been coming through for the past year. Um, and then other than that, I have plans to, yeah, just start one-on-one -on -one work uh, slowly. It's been really difficult. It's been a, like a push and an edge for me to do that. But I do feel that I'm in a place right now where I would like to start working one-on-one -on -one with people and whoever feels called to, to work with me. So, yeah. Um, but right now I'm in total total liminal space and um if i if i've learned anything over the two years that's a very 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 potent time oh my gosh, and um it, it can be a messy time too because you're like what am i doing um but i'm but i'm again putting my trust in in my path and uh just trusting in the unfolding of where i'm at and being okay that it's it's it not always it's not always smooth sailing mm -hmm. um but i I'm, I'm deeply connected to now wanting to as as you have been sharing what i've learned over the past um three years of coming back to myself with others and whoever whoever that is i know that they'll they'll be the right people and yeah yeah your medicine right now, your healing medicine right now, whether it's, you know, even though it might not be in a formalized container of any kind, is literally sharing these words for the people who will hear it. Not only who've been on here live, but in the replay, when I put it on YouTube, like all of the things. And we, we often don't know how much we can truly affect others. But I really do feel that, you know, that everybody has this potential but just the way that you show up and your beautiful heart and your beautiful words and your mindfulness and your wisdom beyond your years <laughs> it is healing for anyone who comes into contact with you so when you, Thank you. when you are in spaces with people you know intimate like one-to-one -one and and yeah i mean i would totally vouch for you as a human to to explore and to like already learning from your ability to surrender to the unknown to sit in where you are to trust like they're some of the hardest skills of all of the self-development skills the hardest hardest to surrender to let go of control like that's the hardest <laughs> and you are in a living embodiment of that right now so i just want to like really acknowledge that for you and everybody thank else who's watching, they know it's not a small thing. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm yeah, so I know. Grateful. I'm so grateful that you, that you, um, there we go. Yeah, I'm just so grateful that you sparked mm -hmm. this conversation and that we could connect and, and put these yeah. messages out there. Yeah, it's such a pleasure. And, and again, I just wanted to, so for anyone that's watching this on the replays or the lives, if 
you see Shay's um, up and coming retreat and you feel the call to go to Bali and work with Shay and meet like minded uh, women and be in the most beautiful place, I really, really couldn't, I couldn't express more how much you should follow that and how, how deeply this has affected my life and my being. And I, I really truly mean that. So beautiful. Thank you so much. And everybody who's been on here, who's been with us, and who is watching to the end as well, thank you. And yeah, my retreat is in August, the 19th to the 24th. Uh, it is just for women. And I'm crazy excited to be back in that space. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite of all teaching space to be in is teaching retreats. So, because I mean, I get all of the upgrades that everyone else is getting too. Like I'm in the journey <laughs> too with you all. So like, yay. <laughs> all right, well, I'm sending you so much love and everybody yeah, has over love. also to Holly's page as well to receive her medicine because she's just a beautiful, beautiful angel to, yeah, have that energy in your social field. <laughs> Thanks, thank you. Lots of love.